I will be forever grateful for Chris Ash uh, and the efforts that he's brought here. Uh, but unfortunately, um, I thought we had to make a change at this time. You know, it kind of really happened in a matter of minutes. Basically, I called into a staff meeting and then I got called out of the staff meeting. I kind of had to process the whole thing really quickly. Uh, I want to thank Pat Hobbs for uh, giving me this opportunity to help guide our program uh, through these next few months. It's basically changed everybody in this program's life very quickly. And, you know, one of the things I told the kids right away was, you know, Coach Ash is the reason uh, everybody in this program is here, including myself. Uh, you know, he brought me here. So, you know, uh, obviously you go through a lot of emotions and at the same time, you know, we still have a season to play. He's the fastest cat on the team by far. He, as far as how he's run at practice and how he runs in game, he's been pretty Demon. consistent. Yeah. So. No, it's funny, I paid more attention to him just because I didn't really know the kid, you know. You know, one of the big things was stepping into the offensive coordinator role. We kind of had to get organized offensively uh, in a matter of two days. Tuesday, Wednesday. We basically spent a ton of time kind of bunkered down, getting everything organized so that we'd have a way to move forward and create like a blueprint for the rest of the season without really changing any terminology or any things we're doing. At the same time, I was also meeting with every position group on the team. Yeah, come on in, John. 20 would be a perfect score. You tell me, is that who you are? One of the biggest challenges was really just getting to know everybody because you got to build trust. And you know, if they don't really know you, it's hard for them to trust you. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, you're not the only guy I'm having this conversation no, yeah, with because you probably, I know you've never seen this before, but like to me, I know what you were doing in camp mm -hmm. and how hard and how physical you were playing. So for two days a week, we kind of need to see that. No, understood. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Trying to spend some time with each of those guys and kind of explaining what our process would be going forward and you know what are the things that we're trying to do and uh, that was really definitely a whirlwind that first week because those first couple of days uh, you know it was just you know nonstop. To be to be honest, I'm not sure that I've totally um, you know grasped the breadth and the width of it. Basically every day is, you know, you're running from the second you get in the office until, you know, the second that you finish up at night. But that's the fun of it, you know, that's really, you know, it's exciting to be in the middle of having an impact on hopefully the future of Rutgers football and, you know, however this works out, at least, you know, I, I feel like we'll uh, put Rutgers in a better place, you know, come December. I've spent my entire life on a football field. My dad was, uh, a coach for 60 years. He's still a coach. Started in 1962. A long time. A long time. I tell the kids on my freshman team there, I say, you know, uh, your father wasn't even born when I started coaching, so uh, I've been doing it a long time and I know what I'm talking about. I don't think my father set out for all of us to be football coaches. I don't know if he set out for any of us to be football coaches. Uh, probably because we couldn't all get a real job, but uh, <laughs> no, I was just kidding. My brother Anthony is currently the linebackers coach at Michigan. My brother Nick is the offensive coordinator at DePaul. Older brother Vito, uh, he replaced me at Burton Catholic. He's the head coach there now in his second year. I didn't like push him either way. I just, you know, if they really felt strong about it, I knew they'd be good at it. Just kind of in our blood, you know, it's, we've been, I guess, raised on a football field and you know, it's kind of hard to imagine doing anything else. Tough on my parents because everybody's you know there's four games every weekend so it's 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 hard to go four and zero every weekend. Nunzio Campanelli making his debut as the interim head coach. Growing up, all of us one day wish that one of us would be a head Division One football coach. So it's exciting for me to see all that kind of come to fruition for him. Um, obviously, I, I'm an alum there, so uh, you know maybe that gives me uh, a little bit more of a sense of pride, you know, and happiness for him but I'm really, really excited for him. All right, man, let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're running, let's go, Matt, we're running. Obviously, there are a lot of challenges. We're playing a lot of young players. Uh, we have guys that, uh, you know, maybe don't have necessarily the experience or, you know, maybe we're a little undersized at a position or, you know, maybe we're not fast enough at a certain position. So one of the biggest things I think is first, we have to stay committed to each other. The only way for us to improve is to make sure that we're out there working as hard as we can for each other. All right, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop my feet. I would turn and set. 
right? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a deep drop. That's probably one of the biggest challenges because there's a, you know a lot of noise outside about the record and the lack of wins, uh, you know, or the lack of success. But to me, it's about building for the long term, and I want this team to be in better shape in December than we were in September. Sprint to get your hips around. Sprint to get your hips around, right? So fake one up the field, hips around, ready to throw when we come out. I think that the kids are starting to understand, you know, my thought process, and we're gonna cherish the opportunity to play football and to play together. And there's no time to waste worrying about things that we can't control. But we can control the attitude we have in this building every day. So we're gonna have a great attitude and we're gonna compete really hard.